Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? October 28th in here. Happy Friday, little loves. Individual zodiac signs. What we have for today? Three cards energies. Whatever comes stronger first will be shared with you. And of course, starting with our beloved Aries. Welcome, loves. Let's see. Hierophant, Eight of Pentacles, and Knight of Wands. All right, loves, it seems here that you, Aries, putting effort into a situation, but the energy speaks of keep doing what you're doing in the same tempo. Because I feel here for some of you, you work hard for something and at one point just feel like, ah, nah, just loosening it up. With the Knight of Wands here, it feels like I'm putting so much effort and when I start just seeing some results, I'm just loosening up. Do not lose up because you might experience in a very short time that something here you put in effort for so long is going away. So be very, very careful. The Knight of Wands two of cups i feel here you need to keep doing whatever you do so you can experience for the long term this energy so fight for what you do loves because something here can go to the distance unless you wanna not feeling quite okay so indeed taurus Time for you, darlings. Let's see what we have for you. King of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and Eight of Swords. All right. It seems here a uh, Taurus needs some effort to put in something else. And that effort very, very strongly speaks of your positive self, bringing your positivity up to date. Because it seems here that you don't see that you can make certain things, that you can have certain things. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean you you're not getting it or you are not going to get it okay so leave this behind with this ten of wands whatever you i don't see it i don't make it like all this negative thoughts because you indeed have more to gain for some of you you are a father figure and you might feel it yourself like a, a little use, useless kind of oh nobody needs me or as much as I try to see the results are not coming leave that behind yes you need to uplift your energy and not because I say so but because you have much more out there to experience and see okay so transform into your king of wands actions speaks more than waitings all right loves because absolutely you are able to do whatever you have you don't need although to wait gemini's time for you darlings what do we have for you the first card queen of cups Three of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Gemini, there is someone here who comes with an offer and it's more likely this month. For some of you, you might be meeting someone through your work. It seems here it's a water sign. For some of you, yeah, I see that the Pentacles may be an Earth. Yes, for some of you. But it seems here that you, your focus is somewhere else. 
but not what it's coming. Okay. Seven of Swords. And Seven of Swords very, very strongly speaks of I'm not for this. This is not gonna work. Or I'm out of here because love for me never works, never goes to the distance. Who implant that to you? Because indeed here, yes, you might have this mistrust energy or everyone comes and just takes, takes, takes. Well, why are you not? transform a little bit and be you the one who takes or be that that person who set some boundaries and get what they need and offer what is need because can be unless hey you are free to go very very simple look at here Look at here. There is a, a real offer over there. It's not big. That's the reality. But it's a stable. Page of Pentacles speaks of a small offer that is real. Cancerians, time for you. Let's see. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and Moon. The Cancerian here I'm speaking. Yes, I might speak with a feminine energy here. It's kind of everything is in the dark. But I gotta remind you one thing, loves. Every seed which is planted on the ground, it is in the dark. So you are just being planted. And you are exactly where you need to be. It's hard to believe so, but indeed you are. And the Four of Cups very strongly speaks that there is an energy that is on the way to you. Focus on that, not on what is gone. Feels some kind of fear. Feels some kind of, I'm not sure, I'm not into, I'm not kind. It's like a lot of things here can change. Just based on the way you look at the situation. Because I found quite wowing myself looking into a situation in a positive way. A lot of things starts to come in a positive way as well. Looking in a negative comes more. Whatever you, you know, likes attract likes. Whatever you put, you get more. Because Ace of Wands, something here is quite quick on the way to you. And you might be surprised. On the forward movement, we have a Leo in here. Welcome. And let's see, loves. Nine of Pentacles. Page of Cups. And Three of Cups. Leo, I see for you a meeting today. It is a, probably a new person or could be someone you know. But it's a great chat. It's a friendship energy. No, it's not a third party. I feel here you, you both are kind of managing the things. But I feel also there is a little mix of everything. Could be, you know, a friendship energy, but as well in a professional way as well. For some of you could be, you know, someone from your work, taking lunch, taking dinner, taking a drink. It is a very light-ish energy, 
we're getting together, we talk here and there, but there are some annotations regarding your personal life. So it's a pleasant energy, whoever comes forward. So it could be a water sign around you. No, I don't see love, but I do see someone who tries to know you, basically. And probably why not later on to be something more. Because I feel here this person has some great, you know, energy that can be shared. And our Virgos, welcome loves. Let's see what we have for you. Took some cards from the other deck. Four of Pentacles, loves. Judgment. It's kind of the universe asks you, why are you holding on? And not giving yourself the chance for something else. The Four of Pentacles here. I need to know more for whatever is there. It's like emotion-wise, you are ready to go. Mental-wise, my not. Something here doesn't make sense for the Virgo I'm speaking. It's like, I'm holding on not because I want to, but I hold on to understand. For whatever reason. But I feel here, once you do understand, things will move forward fast very fast so buckle up loves yeah yeah i feel here there is something here our virgos are very much up in your head nine of swords speaking of overthinking some sleepless nights probably out there but take care of you loves don't overthink because many, many times overthinking might not give you the right answer. Libra, time for you. And let's see what we got. Hierophant, the devil, and seven of swords. The Libra, I'm speaking you you are in a situation that you just want to run away from, basically. And it's not metaphorically, yes, could be, but it's like on a... for real, basically. Because where you are, you feel like it's a, it's a hell. For some of you Libras, you, you might deal here with a narcissistic, could be an environment very toxic. For others of you, you might deal here with some, some person kind of who cheating, lying a lot. So yeah, it seems here that I just want to run away. Minimal talk. For some of you with this page of wands, you, you might want to talk with someone or you are talking with someone. And for some of you, you are, you know, in, in some kind of energy that I need something else. There's another energy here that comes in. For some of you, you might start talking with someone who might lie to you about that they are not married, that they never, they always been a faithful partner or a faithful person. It's kind of like, you know, those kind of energies that, hey, trust me. So be very careful because quite quick enough you will understand what this person is made of and my Scorpius welcome let's see darlings what do we have for you judgment chariot and eight of cups so Scorpio I have here Cancerian Virgo energy, but it's more likely something here starts today beautiful, but end up not quite. For some of you, you might feel that 
I want to do this, but it's not necessary that I want it. I must do this. Eight of Cups, Three of Cups. If you are finding out that you are in a third party with someone, like in the, in the beginning, it's kind of, okay, I'm out. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, but you you have kind of a bitter mouth that why this person is supposed to do this, okay? Why? For some of you, there is a meeting here and it seems like it might not be the, the best ending of this meeting. So be, be very careful whom you are meeting with, whom you are talking to, and so on, okay? Because I see a little disappointment out there. And, you know, everything will happen, it's for the best. Because for some of you, there's angels who are protecting you from lower vibrations and move you into a better one, okay? Many, many times we are in those energies that, oh my goodness, I really want to work things out and struggling. And the universe, angel spirits, is trying to push you to something great. But you might not see. So see clearly all their loves. Sagittarians. Let's see, my Sagis, what do we have for this day? We have a Hierophant energy, High Priestess energy, and Ace of Swords. Wow, when I have the High Priestess and the Hierophant, and look at them, they are together, basically. The Priest and the Priestess, past life energy here, and you know it. For some of you, you are meeting someone and you will feel the connection instant because you know them in a past life. For others of you, you know something here, it's up quite quickly, quite quickly. For others of you, there is some secrets coming out. But for some reason, it's kind of like, I knew it. I knew it this once. But also, there is a Sag here who... It's quite a different prediction here. Not a day. But in this lifetime, you will marry the person you've been married even in another past life. So, lucky Sag. For others of you, Sages. Following your intuition, you will go in the right direction. And if you really want something real, stable, following the guidance that comes in, you will make your mark. A lot of clear energies are coming in for you, loves. Look at here, judgment past life energy. So judgment also speaks of awakening. You know what's coming in. Three major arcanas. This is something here magical for a Sag that's coming in. And for some of you, you might meet by the end of this month someone that you might feel like, oh, now I know what really worked with some people on what really didn't work. Still doubting? Two of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. I'm not quite sure if this is the real thing or this can be possible. Well, everything can be possible if you believe. Capricorns. Time for you, darlings. The first card, Chariot. The next one, Six of Wands. Couldn't be better, right? 
and nine of cups look at you yes there's some capricorns here that are probably going on in a trip for others of you there is a there is a promotion you you wanted for quite a long time or have been prom been promised to you for quite a long time if something here have been promised in the summer, now you get it. But also for some of you, if you are wanting something really badly to do or go, go for it, loves, because you will get your point. No questions asked. Couldn't be a better Friday for my Capricorns. And underneath here, we have the Knight of Wands. This might not be a, a long-lasting energy, but I feel here it's worth to get it. For some of you, there is a financial gain for short term. Go for it, loves. Go for it. Aquarians. Time for you, darlings. The first card we have Four of Cups. The next one we have Star. And we have Five of Swords. Okay, loves. There's a lot of healing in your energy. Healing the past. Healing the things that have been done. And for some of you, you get the way or the right way through the messages pay attention to the signs pay attention to your dreams because i feel here there is something offered to you that you need to be pay to pay attention basically and do what is right for you not for them and that healing energy is it's helping because it's kind of now is your turn and not their turn now i do what is right for me not necessarily what is right for them so a little change of the tabs out there why not because hey it's time for me to be happy and of course pisces welcome my darling Pisces, Queen of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and Two of Swords. Okay. It's kind of you know what to do, but you don't do it. Why so? I don't see how. I'm not sure if that works. So... I feel here you will be pushed forward. Either now, either a little later. For some of you, someone here tells you that don't wait anymore. Get ready for something new. Because it seems here that a Pisces have a hard time to, to move forward. Maybe I gotta wait a little bit, see what's going on, or maybe I'll take more time. Don't take more time, loves. The Scorpio season, it's great to leave behind all is what is unfulfilling. Because that is for your own good. Take care of you more. Because it's necessary. And collective. I welcome you, loves. Let's see what we have for you. What do we got here? Temperance, Archangel Michael, and a beautiful healing card. Nine of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Ace of Cups and the Wheel. So as much as 
someone who resists the universe steps in and is pushing judgment sun chariot five of pentacles so look at this and the empress here there is something here new coming in movement but somebody here is like what do you mean moving moving what do you mean to 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 learn something nine of wands chair the, the hangman i'm stuck what do you mean there is something new out there i don't see it because somebody here focus on what is gone not whatever it's here one more card i'm confused and upset It's like somebody here, indeed, the temperance, why comes here, because brings healing. Healing, most likely internal healing. Fool. To see a new path. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Page of Wands, Death, it's kind of somebody here might hear that the universe is saying that you can resist as much as you want, but there is a new beginning coming there, Death, Tower, Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords. It's kind of you you can't hold anymore for whatever it's gone. For whatever hurts you. For whatever felt stuck or it's feeling stuck. But just to move. Towards something new. Two of Cups. So The universe brings a new energy, loves. Even someone here resisted, even someone here feels stuck, confused, angry, and tries to not show that they're angry. But the temperance speaks of go in a healing mode and then we'll see better. The advice, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the Hierophant, and the Knight of Wands. This is coming quick, loves, very quick. Give yourself a chance to put in effort. No matter whatever, whoever says anything to you, you might not need to react as much. So loves, happy Friday and see all of you Monday. Blessings. Bye for now.